Can we get a virtual high five here? We're ranking on the first page of Google for free. How's it going? My name is Jen Sargent. I'm the creator of Digital Sargent and I'm so happy you found this video. If you found this video, that means you're more than likely a local or a small business owner that wants to learn more about digital marketing and I'm the girl to help you do just that. Before we get into today's video, which is all about how to rank on the first page of Google for free, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new material all about local business digital marketing, you'll be the first to know and you'll be the first to implement it. So let's get into the nitty gritty of ranking on Google for free. Now I have a handful of pages on my website that are ranking nationally and locally and I'm very proud of it, but the real question is, how did I do it? How am I ranking on Google for free? And it's going to come down to a handful of different things. Now, there are some elements that you know Google weighs less and there are some elements that Google weighs more. But the thing that you have to keep in mind for search engine optimization or for SEO is that all of these things work together. So when you start building up small things and small things and small things and then big things and big things and then small things, next thing you know, you have this awesome strategy that is really going to be performing well for you. So some of the things that have helped me rank on Google are a website that is fast, a website that is responsive, a website that is not misleading, and a website that is secure. So those are some important things, but I also have implemented breadcrumbs, a strong page strategy, a strong title tag strategy, meta descriptions, alt tags, and those are the things that work together to help rank your business on Google. And at the end of the day, it's really boiling down to content. Who are you writing this content for? Is it solving their problem? And is it offering a good user experience? Are you people going to the website and bouncing off quickly? Are people not finding the information helpful? Those are some things that Google takes into consideration and will eventually start to derank your website. Important to be pumping out content on a consistent basis when things like a Google core algorithm update, like what happened in this video, takes place, then your rankings don't plummet. It's also really important to take into consideration the plugins that you're using. Are these plugins helping you or are they actually hurting you? For example, there is an issue with the Yoast SEO plugin right around the same time as the Google core update and those things working together actually caused some issues for a lot of people. But let's get into how exactly I'm able to rank on Google for multiple things for free. But before I do, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel. So when I upload new material, you'll be the first to know and you'll be the first to implement it. I do a ton of keyword research. I use the Keyword Planner tool right from Google. It's free and anybody can use it. And that is a tool that I use to help me determine which keywords I should use and how I should use them. I also use a variation of keywords in my meta descriptions, my title tags, my H1s, H2s, H3s, my alt tags, and in my content. And it really boils down to those things, especially your content. If your content is great for the user, Google's going to pick up on that and is going to help you. And those that's really the recipe that I use to rank on Google. Nationally, I'm ranking for confirm the hide from timeline option has been removed from Facebook. I'm also ranking for Elementor, um, an Elementor topic regarding the Astra template and the full width header. And I'm ranking locally for local business digital marketing in Claremont, Florida. Um, digital Marketing Claremont, Florida, Marketing Services in Claremont, Florida. Now I'm not in the map pack yet because at the time I'm recording this video, which is on May 12th, I actually have submitted the request for that to be changed on Google My Business, but because of that wretched thing that's going on right now, a lot of things are behind. In short, that is what I do to rank on Google, the first page of Google for free. And keep in mind that I'm pumping out content consistently on Google and on YouTube. And I'm looking at those keywords and those keywords planners. Like you cannot forget to do research. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, then please comment down below. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you are interested in more digital marketing advice. And right about now, you should be seeing some videos coming up on the screen that should be good for you. And I hope that you listen to them and you subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.